Okay, hello, hello. We are live, I think. It looks like we're live. <laughs> I have I am not so confident after all the trouble YouTube was giving me just there. <laughs> but we seem to be broadcasting. Uh YouTube, don't throw up an error message on me. Let me have a look at that. mean you're not receiving enough video. You're receiving plenty of video. Okay, it looks like it's working. OBS isn't telling me there's any drop frames, so I think we're good. Uh, that was... I suppose maybe I was due for YouTube giving me some trouble. Normally, it, normally it's Twitch is the one causing problems. But, with all that said, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and Soren's Journey. Uh, we're... It was Saturday, I think, last time I streamed Soren's Journey. It's, it's, it feels like it's been a while anyway. Ooh, that kind of works out for me. <laughs> for me, what I've been doing in the background. So last time we were on patch 5.1, that was Vows of Virtue, Deeds of Cruelty. And today we're going into patch 5.2, Echoes of a Fallen Star. So I think I'll just get into it. <laughs> See if I can use the game itself to get me off of that little... The funk that technical issues puts me in. So, trial. Last FF was six days ago. Yep, that would be Saturday. Any word on the others? Sorn, my, what a pleasant surprise. If you've come to inquire after the Archons, fear not. Master Matoya's treatment has proven effective in stabilizing their corporeal ether. We mustn't grow complacent, however. Potent though these magics may be, they are not without limits. We can only hope they afford us enough time for the Crystal Exarch to complete his work. Huh. Only we could go with you to the, with you to the first and help. Pardon the inter interruption, but I come bearing urgent news. Maxima. Ah, Soren. It has been far too long, my friend. It certainly has been. Forgive me. I don't believe we have been formally introduced. Maxima. Former Garlean Ambassador. I remain here in Eorzea under the auspices of Commander Aldin. Offering what counsel I can in the hopes of resolving the present conflict with the Empire. Ah, yes. I have heard stories of a defector from Garlemald, but never mind that. You said you have urgent, urgent news. Indeed. As you may have heard, the Imperial capital is in turmoil, and a sizable portion of the Garlean forces have been recalled from the Gimlet Dark. With their numbers so greatly diminished, the main host of the Alliance is withdrawn, leaving the Alamegan resistance to keep watch over the border. And it is there we have welcomed a most unexpected visitor, who claims that this de-escalation may belie growing dangers and unforeseen threats. Someone in particular? Commander Aldin has arranged for an impromptu meeting to discuss these revelations. He has also, also requested a representative of the Scions attend as well, though it was clear to whom he wished I extend this invitation. It would seem time is of the essence. Well, you'll not be attending this meeting alone. Though I am not as well versed in the affairs of city-states as our comrades, I see no reason to burden a single scion with all this. I'd be glad for the company. Yes, of course. Then we must make for the Alamegan Quarter with all haste. Oh, well, what are you waiting for? Get going, you two. 
Well, uh, we're off to tar. Back to the front lines, I guess. But I suppose it's not the front lines so much anymore. Gimlet Dark. Last time I was there was... Certainly not a memory I want to spend too much time thinking about. Hold up. I... I can't be dealing with that. <laughs> I do. I. I like have. I like using the your original chocobo mount. I feel you get you form more of a bond with your chocobo. But I. I really don't like the chocobo mount music. Maxima? Kral? Sorry to keep you waiting. Commander Aldin awaits us in the Royal Palace. If you would follow me. That's why I turned off Mammy. Yeah, I, t I turned it back on uh, when after we did the bird farming so I could listen to the... the Heavensward <laughs> music. That's... Gaius. So he's the one. And I, for one, am grateful that they are. Told you've been busy since our paths last crossed at the Gimlet. Uh, Nidhogg? Uh, not, not just Nidhogg, but kind of just all of them. I've been using... That is why, the, if you've noticed, the Mount Roulette is back on my hotbar. Busy is certainly one word for it, General. Not that I understand half of it. When the science spoke of other worlds, I'd struggle to describe what I pictured. Mayhap things would seem clearer were I to hear the tale from your own lips. But I'm afraid the situation will not afford us that luxury. Things I trust bad. you two require no introduction. Mm. We you meet could... again, hero of Eorzea. We do indeed. Must we repeat this ridiculous display? I pose no threat to you. Though what I come to warn you of very well might. Here, are savages, it's your boy. <laughs> oh. I don't know what, I don't know how, what, I don't know, I don't feel Soren would be quite that confrontational. Do harm, I hazard he would have kept to the shadows and brought more than two companions. Soren wouldn't be so quick to forget that he did bring Alphano back to us. We need not pretend to be the best of friends, but I hope we can put aside our differences for the present. No. Also, I feel it speaks a bit to Ra Raban Raban's character that he's so quick to kind of be the one to, to be talking about putting aside his differences with Gaius. Because if I remember correctly, it was Gaius who conquered Alamigo in the first place. One good deed doesn't mean a former enemy is good. Yeah. No, but yeah, Soren, Soren I still think feel has that. As you are doubtless aware, would you call it naivety? Aristinian and I cooperated to rid the world of Black Rose in your absence. I heard the reports. Our journey together took us as far as the Imperial Palace where we witnessed Emperor Varus meet his death at Zenos's hand. I saw... Being the sole witnesses to this crime, and in no position to defend our innocence, we were then forced to flee, each pursuing his own avenue of escape. When we were later reunited, Estinian claimed to have encountered an unfamiliar kind of machina during his flight, but to me his description seemed anything but... And upon further investigation, I found that I was right. 
You're talking about that... The ultimate weapon. The Empire is developing a new Ultima weapon. So I wasn't wrong with what I saw in Astinian's memories. What, that Alagon monstrosity, created to vanquish primals, with which you yourself once thought to conquer yep, that's what. Yep, that's what it's Bale's as well. Yeah, but it's why I think, I feel it speaks to Raban's character that he's... Maybe not forgiven, but is willing to kind of just let it, let bygones be bygones with the man who conquered his country. The same. In my foolishness, I sought to harness its power and became the Asian's pawn in so doing. But you know as well as I how that tale ended. It's hard to forget. The weapon itself, excavated from beneath this very city, was destroyed ere we could fully unravel its secrets. And that should have been the end of it. But unlikely as it sounds, the Empire's efforts to recreate it have somehow borne fruit. Primarily through secret research conducted by the Seventh Imperial Legion, it would seem. The Empire... So the Empire can build new Ultima weapons? Wait, the Seventh was all but annihilated at Cartano. Along with its negatus. Indeed. Few survived. The Seventh, as it is now, has little in common with the Legion led by Vandanas, and its leadership has changed hands several times since. Precisely how this project has continued despite such turmoil, and under whose auspices, remains a mystery. What we do know, however, is that a number of prototypes have been produced, and that one of them is on its way to Eorzea. Uh, no. Already? We attempted to stop it, but it was all we could do to slow its progress. So we resolved instead to bring you warning. And right glad are we that you did. Though it soundly dashed our hopes that tensions might ease at last. As it is, we've begun to strengthen our presence in the Gimlet Dark, and are assembling a force to meet the coming threat. A force with you in its vanguard, I hope. Before you say anything, I know full well you have pressing concerns of your own. Your comrades remain in peril, and I would not ask you to forsake them. But the fact remains that you and you alone have faced the Ultima Weapon and emerged victorious. We need you. And so, when the time comes, if your comrades can spare you, I bid you lend us your strength. I've assigned an officer to await your word. Right. I... The Asian's downfall was to be the work of my remaining days. But it was my hand that kindled these flames, and I cannot allow them to spread any further. I will do what I must to see this mistake consigned to history once and for all. Even if it means begging your aid. The fates will enjoy the irony, even as I endure the ignominy. Oh, I too shall make for the border and offer my skills, meager though they seem in such company. Mayhap we shall meet there anon. Mayhap. This is important. Though but... we can ill afford to ignore the coming of a new Ultima weapon, our friend's plight grows ever more precarious, and none save you can join them in the first. That's why I'm feeling torn. I only hope you are not forced to make a choice. Right. Well. Maybe I should take a trip back and see how things are progressing. As ever, the way forward is paved with difficult decisions. We can ill afford to ignore the threat of a new Ultima weapon, but with each passing day the plight of the Scions grows ever more perilous. If you cannot stay for... 
a debriefing on the ultimate weapon, I will not stop you. I only ask that you confer with me before returning to the first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Black Rose destroys everything in the Exarch's timeline, and... Yep, we know what happens to it in... Otherwise. If you can keep an eye on things, Kryl... Just be in touch with me if anything urgent comes up. I feel I need to check in on the others first. I take it you're ready to return to the first. Then I would ask that you apprise the others of recent events here in the Source. Namely, Xenos' return and the development of a new Ultima weapon. As for their bodies, you may assure them Master Matoy and I will continue doing what we can to keep their corporeal ether stable. Safe travel, Soren. I hope to see you and the other Scions soon. Right. There's never a rest, is there? Well, it's pretty nice you gotta look into the Exarch's timeline. D what, what, what part of the Shadowbringers trailer is the Exarch's timeline, though? Because I assume... I always assumed it was what you... S yeah, I, I can't think of any scenes in it that are I would, would have associated as being from a different timeline. So all I can do is hope that there's been progress. Gra? You've come at a most opportune time, my friend. I've made something of a breakthrough in my research on the soul, and a means to return to Sion's home. I trust you too have been making good use of your time. Well... I suppose. I've... Got news, though. Ill tidings from the source, you say? Then I will summon the others so that we might all be appraised of the situation. Beginning part of trainer where Elidibus was in Xenos collapses off. Oh yeah, the fight... Yeah, oh yeah, that... I suppose that's a point. You don't, you don't win that fight in... The history. I kind of forgot that, just that very opening part. Now that we are all here, what news from the source? Well... Most of it's about Garlemald. A new Ultima weapon? We must count ourselves lucky that Gaius has pledged his assistance. While this is indeed a worrying development, I think the state of the Empire as a whole greater grounds for concern. With the Emperor slain and Xenos returned, it is impossible to predict how matters will unfold in Garlemald. The Ultima weapon may be but the first of many unpleasant surprises. The situation beareth closer observation, of that there is no doubt, and doth compound our need to return unto the Source. Then let us address that issue. Our long search for a means to see you safely home may well be nearing its conclusion. It Thanks is? In large part to Urianger and Beklug's invaluable insight, we have succeeded in fashioning a vessel for the journey. That's... great news. 
We set out to create a crystalline container retaining the more useful properties of white boracite, but without its regrettable limitations. And, after a good deal of trial and error, we made one. An arc for soul and mind both that will allow your incorporeal self in its entirety to be ferried between worlds. A spirit vessel, if you will. I'm going to have to get used to calling them spirit vessels. I remember them. I, I'm fairly certain they're called soul siphons in the Japanese audio, which is what I was familiar with. However. Is there a... However, though the vessel is possessed of the requisite qualities to hold mind and memory, it wanteth yet for a means to receive of them. For that, we must needs imbue it with the Exarch's innate gift. A gift that lives on only through the blood of the Allegan Emperors, which certainly does not flow within Aurasite or any other crystal. Right. Just so, so my lady. The blood serveth as a conduit of sorts. In its absence, memory cannot pass from mind unto mind, nor from flesh unto crystal. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying spirit. I'm not saying spirit vessel doesn't make sense, but I'm just kind of my brain's already kind of associate associates the concept with the term soul siphon. That being the case. We must either alter the process of inheritance, so as to require no such thing, or determine a means by which my blood may permeate the vessel. I am hopeful that the records found within this tower will yield the knowledge we require to pursue one or the other of these avenues. Hopefully that would be the case. The tower was what the blood's used for, after all. The Allegan's body of etherological research is extraordinary. I can scarce believe it, the work of ages past. Yeah, so, yeah no, I, I, my, for my entire playthrough is Joseph. I've used the, I had the Japanese audio. But its underlying principles are not so very different from those of my own field of study. Given time, we will find the answers we seek. Excuse me? But yeah, uh, it, it, my, my first experience with the English the English vo audio for Final Fantasy XIV was when I started streaming with Soren. Right, so that's good news, right? I know that you can ill afford to wait, and it pains me that I must ask you to do so. I can only reaffirm my promise to you that a solution will be found. Whatever it takes. I will see you safely home. I trust you on that. My apologies. Oh. Captain? I do hope you haven't come to tell us that mortal peril fast approaches. No. I had hoped to speak with the warrior of darkness. With but there me? is no need to cut short your meeting on my account. I will be waiting outside. Uh, of course. If it's just a Why talk. Why not speak in here? She knows I don't mind. Unless she didn't want to. Perhaps I might accompany you. Though I am woefully ill-qualified to assist in the Exarch's research, I may it be of some use to Lena. Uh, I... Don't mind. So you didn't hear the meme of such devastation, English? Uh, no, I, I'd heard the meme because I've I saw it in. I think I, I think I did see memes of it. Even if I didn't what, even if I didn't experience it myself. And of course, I'd played I'd played through Praetorium enough in in roulettes to ha to hear people memeing on it. I must confess, while I enjoy my fair share of scholarly research, it will be good to step outside for a spot of fresh air. Now then, shall we go and speak with Lina? Right. 
I wonder what it is she wants. It didn't sound too serious. But if things are looking, well, just like we have to be patient here, I guess I can afford to focus on this Ultima weapon problem. We have little time, so I will be brief. A sin eater has been sighted in Lakeland, and I ask for your assistance in slaying it. Another sin eater? A sin eater? I had heard some few yet remained after the night had returned, but... Perhaps we should call the others. That will not be necessary. It is only a single eater. A simple task for our guard, I should think. That said, I believe fighting alongside the Warrior of Darkness would be a valuable experience for them. Peace can lead to complacency, and they gain nothing from an easy victory. But you do not underestimate your foes, however harmless they may seem. My men would do well to learn from your example. Well, if you think so, of course. Whatever I can do to help. Excellent. Then let us make for Fort Job. I guess... While I was out virtue hunting, I did... It did kind of prove to me that just because the light's gone doesn't mean the Sin Eaters are gone as well. Give me, give me the Firebird. If I'm going to fly, I need a <laughs> I want a mount that looks like it can fly. Right. Sin Eater Stragglers. Indeed. The Sin Eaters that remain no longer have a leader to guide them, but they are no less dangerous. They cannot be suffered to live. If you would wait here a moment, I will gather the others. What do you mean? Motorcycles can definitely... <laughs> no. Even when I'm playing by myself, I don't like using the Chocobo to fly. <laughs> You may not remember, but you have met these soldiers once before, but only in passing. Long have they awaited the opportunity to fight at your side. Uh, uh, hello? I was at death's door that day after the city was attacked. If you and yours hadn't come along, I'd likely have stepped through. And I wouldn't have been alone. Your courage and selflessness is something we all aspire to. I too was there that terrible day. My friend was transformed into a Sin Eater before my very eyes, and I had no choice but to cut her down. The thought of returning to the field, of holding a blade again, it filled me with dread. That is no way to honor her or my comrades. And so I have returned. I swear I will not let you or anyone else down from this day forward. A pleasure to meet you, sir. Truly, it seems like only yesterday I watched as you took flight astride Namaro to go and save the Oracle. It's strange to think the Ilmoran soldiers we once locked blade with are now on our side, but we will do our utmost to keep the peace here in Lakeland. We seem to be missing one. There was a... a hello? My apologies, Captain Lina. An elderly gentleman asked that I escort him to Clearmelt. It uh, took longer than I anticipated. I'll not begrudge your desire to help those in need, but a soldier must be punctual, especially when we play host to honored guests. Uh, it won't happen again. The name's Daler. I'm sure you don't remember, but we met once before in the infirmary. I... I asked you to deliver a message to the Exarch and Warrior of Darkness. Little did I know I was already talking to him. 
Don't give up. Don't give in. And I keep those words close to my heart. And the boundless, beautiful skies above serve as a reminder of their importance. My friend got to see the knight's return shortly before he passed. He left this world with a smile, satisfied with a glimpse of what was to come. But there are countless others who weren't so fortunate. They gave their lives to the promise of a future they'll never know. And so it falls to us to do everything we can to fulfill that promise. No matter what happens, we won't give up. We won't give in. Of course. Good to see spirits are still high. Your heroism has inspired all of our guardsmen in much the same manner. Our scouts at the northern staging point have not had the pleasure of meet meeting you in person. Let us not keep them waiting. Right. I'm guessing that's where we're, where we're off to. Oh, yeah. That was something I don't think I ever experienced, was only certain mounts being able to fly. I don't... I also joined after. Brain work for me. Yeah, after, after flying was introduced into... Yeah, definitely way before I joined the game. Ooh. I didn't join too far after that I was current Heaven Sword stuff. Yeah. Ooh. I think I joined not too long after Flying was introduced into A Realm Reborn, because I know that was patch 5.3, I believe that was added in. And I think I joined like two patches afterwards. Is this already, or are we too late? <laughs> the original AR or MSQ grind. Yeah. Did you slay this eater? Your orders were to await the main force before engaging. No, Captain. It wasn't us. I swear it. A man came out of nowhere and cut it down before we knew what was happening. By himself? Certainly it is no light warden, but nevertheless. It's true. Felled it with a single swing of his axe he did. I've never seen anything like it. So I says to him, Who are you, the warrior of bleeding darkness? And he says, No. I'm a warrior of light. And that was it. Buggered off as quick as he came. Wait. A warrior of light? Who would call themselves a warrior of light in the first? I know the truth of it, but to most people, that's the name of a villain, isn't it? Yeah, the post ARR stuff was mostly filler. Yeah, no, nope, I've I've heard plenty about it. I've heard about the Chocobo sniffing quest. A warrior of light. Like one quest, you can was the first thing. You... Oh yeah. Yeah. No, they did. I do feel this. I can't say for what it used to be like, but I feel like my experience through A Realm Reborn was felt fairly like well paced. Why would someone go around calling himself that, though? It was those bastards who caused the flood. That's. I mean, if you were going to pretend to be anyone, it'd be him. The warrior uh, of darkness. I, I, I wouldn't go that far. Hey, oh, oh, I didn't know. It's an honor. Uh, you're welcome. But a warrior of light. Since the Eater is no longer a threat, our work here is done. Return to your posts. I'm curious. I had hoped to fight at your side today. But I'll continue to follow your example. And may we meet again. 
You felt the difference since you did the original grind twice. Ooh. I apologize for the wasted journey. It seems I overestimated the threat. Not at all. It was a pleasure again to meet everyone. As for this warrior of light, I do not know who would be brazen enough to take that mantle for his own. Whatever it may once have meant, it is forever tainted by the association with the Flood. Yeah. The Exarch told me the truth of Ardbert and his comrade's deeds, and I am aware they played some part in your own triumph. But to most, they are synonymous with the calamity that befell this world. Still, if this man is minded to destroy Sin Eaters, I may forgive him his unfortunate choice of alias. But that is neither here nor there. I thank you for accompanying me. Not a problem. With that concluded, shall we return to the Crystarium? There is a proposal I should like to make. Uh, of course. <laughs> oh, I'll be Forgive sassing me. you. There is one more thing. Oh, what, what, what did I... Did I miss sass, more, some sassy Alphano? A personal concern of mine. I had hoped you might have a moment to speak privately. Uh, I should do. Do you want to head on, Alphano? I shall go on ahead. Thanks. I know there was. Yeah, I, I, I had heard like there was apparently more Tataru side stuff. Originally. And they've only kept like some very basic level of it. I will not mince words. This matter concerns the Exarch. Though his right. countenance belies his age, his demeanor never has. He has seen more than any man should and grown ever more weary with time. But I see I give the wrong impression. While it is true he attempted to open a letter with the Salmon Filet the other evening, we are not here because I suspect his mind is deteriorating. Uh, well, that's good to know. Nor do I believe him to be so maddeningly unconcerned by the prospect of his own death as he once was. Indeed, the opposite is true. That's... It is for this reason that I seek your advice. Since he returned from the Tempest, the Exarch is not as he was. He seems a different man. A younger man. I know not the details of his research, but when I saw him at work recently, there was a glint in his eye that I had never seen before. He looked... happy. That's... It was as if he had peered into the future and for the first time found joy there. Though it gladdens me to see him thus, I wonder if I should not keep my distance. I fear that my presence will only anchor him to the past, remind him of all the pain that came before. That... Oh. Can I bring up the chat? Just, just remind myself, like, this conversation. Oh. Yeah, I don't think someone would say this, because I don't think... I feel like he, th he thinks more highly of Graha than to... And maybe Soren's like too oblivious to notice if Graha seeming too much like he misses Lena. Being anchored isn't a bad thing. Is that so? Then perhaps we might remain as we were. As we have always been. What a relief. In that case, I will have to speak with him about the amount of time he is spending at work. Is he... 
This research is important, I know. But if he refuses to consider his own health, I will have to consider. No, so he picked the second option to go on this. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I could, I could see that. Yeah, make sure he's looking after himself, Captain. I do worry about him as well. I will not keep you. You and your comrades have much to discuss. I will see the others back to their posts. Oh, maybe it's actually... Maybe... Is it... Is it... Would it... Would it be in character for Seri... To think... To think, you know, that she's the most awesome person in the room? Are, are you sure that... Are you absolutely sure that's in character, Money? Uh, you know what, let's just teleport. Guess I should find out what this proposal Alphno has is. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Alphano tells me a warrior of light has slain the Sin Eater. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to make of this. Uh, yes, I was hoping to speak with you about... Uh, mm, on second thought, but uh, never mind. It would be rude of me to pry. The others were quite shocked to hear of what we found in Lakeland. You hear Soren thinking highly of someone and then Sarah being like, you're just not on my level of awesome. <laughs> but now that you're here, there's a proposal I should like to make. I have been spending a great deal of time in the Cabinet of Curiosity, and of late I have noted, noted more and more people perusing books, of, books on history, the years leading up to the Flood in particular. I suspect they wish to know more about the Warriors of Light, as well they should. But nearly everything I've come across describes them as Sin Eaters, or worse. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not this Warrior of Light is who they claim to be, I worry that their sudden appearance, in conjunction with their this renewed interest in their predecessors, may lead to growing unrest and fear. If the people of the Crystarium seek the truth, I say we give it to them. I too can attest, attest to the falsehoods found within full many of the cabinet's tomes, with nary a mention of the noble deeds of Ardbert and his companions. To be fair, they bear some responsibility for the Flood. But when the tale is told again and again over the course of a century, I am not surprised to see their rules distorted and them painted as villains. Were it, were it not for the records stored within the Crystal Tower, I would have no reason to question the narrative. Unfortunately, that knowledge was of no use. For when I arrived here in the first, their reputation had already been irreparably tarnished. That said, there still remained those who worked tirelessly to defend their good name in, in those early days following the Flood. Considering all the good they had done, I find it a wonder they needed defending at all. They brought to justice the man who misused my knowledge to bring about the fall of Vobert. That such heroes could be spoken of in the same breath as Sin Eaters is absurd. Yeah, well, yeah, they all had their bodies stolen. Under normal circumstances, I would agree, but... As time passed, those who knew firsthand of their deeds dwindled. In the end, only one truth remained. That they were the cause of the Flood. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's not not even just their bodies and graves defiled, but their their char their character as well. With the world on the brink of oblivion, it was all too easy for the warriors of light to become villains deserving only of resentment and hate. At that point, the truth mattered little. It would not change their lot. Thanks to all of you, however, their lot has changed, and they may not, they may heed the long forgotten truth. You claimed it was Artbert who helped you overcome Emmett Selk, correct? Such a revelation would do well to sway the hearts of those who knew, know him only as a villain. I have shared this with a select few, but one and all must be told of his sacrifice. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying their bodies weren't turned into Sin Eaters. I'm, I'm just saying that it wasn't just their bodies defiled, it was their character, like their reputation, was also... Defiled, tarnished. To that end, I say we proceed with Alphino's plan. We call together the people of the Crystarium, and recount to them the true tale of the Warriors of Light, and the flood that followed in their wake. Well, what say you, Sorn? Yeah, I feel someone would be kind of... Well, I wish we'd done this sooner, but more I wish we could have done this sooner. Yeah. Their story deserves to be told. In hindsight, I agree, but... Better late than never, no? Exarch, might I ask you, conti you to continue working with Beck Luke on the means of... Returning home. The rest of us will see the gathering the people of the Crystarium and the Exeter. We have to reach out we have to reach out to anyone and everyone who might be willing to lend an ear. And with any luck, word will spread and more will accompany them. Well off to spread the word, I guess. Yeah, better late than never. You all over the place. If this is going to be told, there's... Oh, I thought I, I thought we were going to be inviting. I, I know CLO knows, but I imagine she'd want to be there to hear their story. Oh well, well. To what do I owe the pleasure? Whatever it is, I must ask you to be brief. With the night returned, visitors have been flocking to the Crystarium, and I find myself too busy by half. I don't mind it though. Seeing the stairs so full of life and excitement, one can almost forget forget the flood ever happened. Actually, I'm here to extend an invitation. Uh, the truth about the Warriors of Light? But you already told me all there is to know, didn't you? Uh, well, if there's more to their story, I'd love to hear it. Maybe then I can compete with Ciela in regaling patrons with stories of their heroism. <laughs> Perhaps I'll even inspire a few aspiring adventurers. Do we have a... Okay, no, there's no dialogue for this particular quest. Bragi? Oh, come to Burr's Wares in the market, have you? 
Well, I can guarantee you'll have no trouble finding what you need, whatever it may be. Under Yulmore's new leadership, trade has never been more prosperous. Word is that word is that fellow from Dateless Stoneworks has taken over for, over his mayor. And did he really? Little wonder business is booming the way it is. <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Child make a. I don't have I. Bleh. Brain stopped. I imagine it won't be long before all of Norfolk reaps the benefits. But you've not come to talk to me about the market. Something on your mind? I'm just here to extend an inv invitation. I see. The Exarch did mention they have had something to do with you, your returning tonight to Norfolk. Alright. Consider my interest peaked. Oh, that's a summoning bell. Ooh, not a... I don't need a summoning bell, I need an Aethernet shard. What day, what day did I... I mean, this is a... This is kind, that's kind of a non-question. If so, if someone comes up to me as kind of with a and anything related to like wh when to watch *Common Rider*, that this is a anytime I I I, my, I will I will adjust my schedule around *Common Rider*. <laughs> well, well, what a coincidence! I was just reading over a letter I received from Grinald not long ago. He says a visitor from the Crystarium found him at the bottom of the ocean, and that he inspired him to reach new artistic heights. Well, I can only think of one person capable of both feats. But I'd say the latter is far more impressive. I think fate could bring the two of you together in such a place. <laughs> I have to admit, I wasn't expecting to find him down there myself. But, um, I'm actually here to... Uh, offer an invitation. Sorry? You mean the Exarch didn't tell us the whole story of the Warriors of Light? Well, whatever he's left unsaid, I'm all ears. It's like... That... That... That emoji took... A, far longer than it should have to actually load in. I was kind of looking up at the thing and it was just like, I could see the empty... There was an empty space in front of your comment. <laughs> So I could kind of, I, I, I was imagining there was an emote or something there, but I couldn't tell what it was. Because, well, how are things here? Oh, Soren. My, what a wonderful surprise. No, I hope your being here doesn't mean someone's been hurt. Thanks to you, I've had far fewer patients coming through my door of late. Which is a shame, come to think of it. I've had fewer opportunities to test my new medicines. Uh. <laughs> I jest, of course. Excuse me? It's actually been quite pleasant to have a few moments to myself now and again. Well, uh, if you actually have a bit of time, I was wondering if you'd hear the Exarch out about something. The truth about the Warriors of Light. But the Exarch has already spoken with me about them. Well, if there's more to the tale, I'd very much like to hear it. Uh, I can hardly think of anyone else who'd be more interested in hearing about history than Moren. So, I guess I'm off to the Cabinet of Curiosity. Just can't be. 
Surely there's at least one book here that does not cast the warriors of light and their deeds in such a negative light? M Moran? You okay there? Oh, Soren, uh, forgive me. The Cabinet of Curiosity has been bustling with visitors of late. I fear our repository lacks for the knowledge they seek. The people wish to know the truth of the Flood. Of the Warriors of Light. Keep the chaos after a minute. Yeah. I can't let myself get distracted too much, Mini. Not, not, not with a hyperfixation. I have searched high and low, but alas... Every account portrays him as no better than Sin Eaters. Abominations worthy only of scorn and resentment. I know they were not always judged so harshly, yet I can find no proof. And I dare call myself a librarian. Oh, uh, if you... Hold on a moment, Moran. The Exarch actually... is looking to organize something. You would address the people and tell them the truth of the Warriors of Light. Of the Flood. Oh, how wonderful. You have regaled me with the tale once before, but I should love to hear it again. Oh, and you, be, you may be assured I will not come alone. You probably won't stop talking about that voice yet. <laughs> I have to keep myself contained. Well, has everyone else been out? Gathering supporters? Those I spoke of at the Orchard and the Rookery were quite keen to hear what we have to say. For as much hope as they still have for the future, the scars of the past weigh heavy on them still. Tis good to see the people of the Crystarium so eager to learn the truth. And with this newfound knowledge of the past, they will at last be able to look to the future with eyes unclouded. Oh, there you are. Between the four of us, I dare say we've swept the Crystarium from top to bottom. Now we need but wait for the people to gather. Uh, that's quite a crowd. I have to confess to not being great at yes, public speaking. Me, everyone. Let us begin, shall we? Though I am usually the first to hold forth at such events, I think on this occasion that honor should fall to you. Right. Um. They would be more inclined to take the word of the warrior of darkness. Yeah, I'm. See, the thing is, I'm the. Warrior of Darkness, not the lecturer of darkness or storyteller of darkness. Indeed. Uh, In light of the subject matter, who better than deaf hear your Irish accent when I pronounce t sound t with a duh? In there. How? There? Uh, uh, fe, fe, ter? Ter? Oh, how else do you, how else do you pronounce it for other than dare? Dare? Pe, ter? I, I, <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be self conscious about that now. Buddy. <laughs> Heard it a moment ago. About. <laughs> uh, right. Um. Uh, hello, everyone. This is a skill I would not have. I'm 
my accent is Yeah, an, ac an accent can't carry you for a speech. It doesn't help me improv. Wicked White? The Warriors of Light did all that? So they never... I mean, they only ever wanted to help. And when everything they'd done turned to ash, they still carried on. They gave everything to stop the flood. First their lives, then their souls. And they managed it too, in the end. They saved us. And we cursed their names. This should go a long way towards clearing the air. Just glad his story's finally getting told. Certain wor sounds, words cause the Irish to slip. But wait, what? Is that? I... No. Hardbert? How? Impossible. Did you see him too? He's not a I spirit? I see something. You don't think it's a ghost, do you? Nay. Yonder standeth no bloodless apparition, but a warrior of light and darkness both. Ardbert. Yishtola? What in the world? It's supposed to be inside me. <laughs> Oh boy. This you! The one who slew the eater! Wait. So Ardbert was the one. You'd be the warrior of darkness who brought the truth to light. You've saved me a fair bit of time. Though I have a few words of my own to say, if I may. People of the Crystarium, I am Ardbert, one of those you know as a warrior of light. What? That's impossible. You should be dead. Aye, that I should. But as the world has been given you life, so too have I. What? I know not why I and I alone have been gifted this chance. But I do know this. Only by the will of the star itself could such a miracle come to pass. That's... The hero who stands before you now, the warrior of darkness, is not of this world. And the day will come when he must return to his home. You are... He's not Ardbert. But this land is our home. And if it is to remain so, now and forevermore, it is we who must protect it. The time to rely on saviors from afar has passed. It is you who must rise. You who must become the new warriors of light. What? Us? Warriors of light? What? None of us were born heroes, my friend. I was only ever a man with a thirst for adventure. But wherever my journeys took me, I was invariably confronted with the same choice. To lend what aid I could to those in need, or not. And I always chose the former. Okay, I'm only I'm noticing only this time that he's got his outfit's color coloration is like Ardbert as the Warrior of Darkness, but his axe doesn't have his axe is the Warrior of Light. Uh, side of it, like it's. The light or coloration without the blood stains. Any one of you could do the same. 
All you need is the will to help your fellow man and the resolve to see it through. What is... Who is this and what is he trying to get at? From thine own lips did we learn of Ardbert's fate, and by thy countenance I gather thou art not inclined to recant thy testimony. Whoever that is, it's... Whosoever this man may be, his words hold truth and resonate with the citizenry besides. For us to voice our doubts here and now would serve but to sow disquiet. Twere better we retired unto the ocular and there discuss this matter in private. Go. I will stay here and watch. Right. Blood scenes go away after you feed Emmett Cell. Oh! Yeah, but do you see him again? Hmm. So, that is a warrior of light of the first. I've not had the pleasure of making his acquaintance, but as you all seem to be in agreement, I gather this is no simple case of mistaken identity. But... It has as to be. As far as I was able to discern, that was indeed art, but it has been a long time, but not that long. Could he truly have been resurrected as he claims? But... I can't say what, but... That's not him. Ardbert did entrust his very soul unto thee. I see no reason to question thy judgment. Oh yeah, that that's what I mean though. When Ardbert's reunited with his companions, his his armor is also red. Like he become like goes back to it's not the war the warrior of darkness coloration, he has the original job armor color. As well as the normal axe. That's what the kind of disarbert is kind of there's aspects of both his warrior of light and his warrior of darkness. Look. Nor I. To my eyes, your ether burns as brightly as the day you slew Emmett Selk. That is proof that he is with you still. Right. So then whoever that is standeth now before the people is far more than a passing imitation. I am reminded of the cardinal virtues, though a sin eater he is not. Yeah. I've s I've met all the cardinal virtues and none Which of them were like this. One plausible explanation. Orionji? That he is an Asian. Given their fondness for posthumous possession, I would have to agree. Of course. From what I understand, the Warriors of Light were laid to rest in Yulmore by those whom they had aided in life. At the time, some few still remembered them as heroes. Needless to say, four of them were subsequently exhumed to serve as the Virtues. And if one knew where to look, Ardbert too would not have been difficult to find. So of course, if he wasn't a, a virtue, then... This is indeed the work of an Asian. My mind inevitably turns to the last remaining paragon to survive the Sundering. Elidibus. Elidibus. That Xenos hath reclaimed his own flesh is known. Right. Which means Thus evicted from his borrowed form and cognizant no doubt of Emmet Selk's failure here in the first, it is quite possible the emissary chose Ardbert for his next vessel. Why? Inhabiting the flesh of the fallen. My that is unsavory. And they do this often, you say. Verily. 
for they possess no corporeal forms of their own. In what one may term their natural state, none save those gifted with the Echo can perceive them. Indeed, when Elidibus intruded upon the waking sands, his presence did go unmarked by all save Minfilia and the Warrior of Light. On that occasion, I myself remained ignorant of his coming until after his departure. It was only at a later juncture, when he deigned to appear before me in borrowed flesh, that I was finally able to take the measure of him. In such puppetry do the Assians engage when they seek to influence the course of history. And they have gained much by it. Emmet Selk single-handedly built the Garlean Empire in this manner, while the Hebrea came close to conquering Eorzea, having taken possession of Thancred's living body. Yet it must needs be noted that the Assians cannot avail themselves of all mortal vessels. For were they able to do so, none would serve as a better pawn than our own redoubtable champion. Nice. Mayhap the blessing of light shieldeth Hydelin's chosen from Assian influence. Or mayhap other forces are at work. We Sup cannot say for certain. Suppose they've never tried to... I don't think they've ever tried to possess me. Whatever the reason, I hope it holds true. I dare not contemplate what might come to pass otherwise. Is it not peculiar, then, that Arbert's mortal remains should be susceptible, given that he was once a warrior of light? Or did the final departure of his soul make it possible, perhaps? Regardless, to hear an Assian use him to call forth new warriors of light boggles the mind. Elidibus hath ever been an enigma. His ostensible purpose being to preserve the balance between light and dark. When he made overtures towards me, however, I was afforded a glimpse behind the mask of the self-appointed emissary. I shall not defend mine actions, undertaken in pursuit of a better understanding of our foe as either wise or prudent. Nevertheless, what little I did glean may now prove useful. Elidibus possesseth a subtle mind, practiced in the art of manipulation. That he coax this star's most valiant heroes as far as the source with naught save half-truths is no trifling feat. And now I believe he doth employ his skills once more to some as yet unknown end. Though naught is certain, should my suspicions prove true, we shall have need of all our wits if we are to uncover, and thereafter thwart, his plot. Agreed. Tis plain that simply speaking out against him will not avail us. At best, it would only serve to confuse the people. Right. And I would hesitate to do anything which might tarnish Ardbert's reputation once more, nor yours by association. Yeah, couldn't do that to him. That being the case, it may be wise to keep a covert eye on this Artbert's movements, as we attempt to discern his purpose and how best to mitigate his influence. His performance appears to have concluded. What now? Go back out and follow him? It would appear Master Alfino already hath pursuit in mind, and I suspect one pair of eyes shall better serve our cause than half a dozen. Self-appointed emissary. The rest sorry. of us maintain an inconspicuous distance, for yep. the present at least. At least that's how it looks to the Scions at this point. Right. What is he after? You did well to dispel the falsehoods surrounding the Warriors of Light, and their actions prior to the Flood. Though I must say the reappearance of Artbert, or rather one who appropriated his identity, 
was a rather curious development. A missionary preached about finding the power. He is an imposter. Of that there is no doubt. But to the masses he will appear as a hero returned from the grave. After the warriors of light were laid to rest in Yulmore, the people prayed fervently for the gods to deliver them from their plight. Prayed that these fallen heroes be born again for their sacrifices. What bitter irony. I, for one, would like to know why Artbert urged the people to become warriors of light themselves. Ere we take action, we must needs ascertain his intent. Let us pray that Master Alphano returneth soon with that most essential knowledge. For now, I think it best to apprise Fancred and Reen of our efforts. When we do confront Ardbert, we shall no doubt have need of their strength. Oh, whoops. What, what did I miss? Agreed. I think it prudent we all take measures to prepare for what's to come. Beg Luke and I will continue our research into how we might improve the spirit vessel. That it might one day carry you home. Hmm. Then I think it is time I, time I return to the Great Wood. Until now, everything we have learned of the Asians has been handed to us at their leisure. But that was one of Emmet Selk's unique failings. I have no reason to think Elidibus will be of his forthcoming. Fortunately, I have re I recently received word from Fano that heretofore unexplored chambers have been discovered deep within the Katana Ravel. Almet believes the relics within tell of a great calamity that befell an ancient civilization. That of the Asians, perhaps. They may lead us to the truths we seek. Would you mind if I went along with you? I'm, I'd be curious to find out myself. I wouldn't dream of going without you. When you are ready, make for Fano. Almond and her sisters will be expecting us. Then let us be about our tasks. Pray give my regard to the V. Been a certainly has been a moment since I've had cause to visit the Great Wood. Hello again. Certainly been a while. Welcome, allies of Ronka. We have accomplished much since last you came. With the Light Warden dead and its minions dispersed, we have at last reclaimed our hunting grounds near Raktika Falls. It was there that we discovered more ruins. Although we ran afoul of no traps while exploring its halls, we determined that the innermost chambers were warded by magic. We all were in agreement. Before any investigation could proceed, you should be summoned. We are grateful you did. From what you have told me, I strongly suspect that the wisdom my comrades and I seek can be found within. This wisdom could prove invaluable. We may soon face a foe whose greatest asset is our ignorance. I see. Then it is good that you have come. For Ronka was once home to the greatest of weapons. Knowledge and understanding. And it is our duty to ensure you and yours do not want for either. That said, we must proceed with caution. To have reached the inner chambers unmolested suggests a more formidable deterrent yet, yet lies within.
Oh no. Surely any threats sleeping within the ruins pale in comparison to those we have faced thus far. This is not a game, sister. You should not be so eager to run headlong into danger. Oh? And who was it pining for the returns of our allies that we might venture into the ruins? Clutching her staff at night, wishing it were... You promise not to tell! Then I suggest we be going. Get back here! I guess... We're moving out? Remind me, exactly how old are you and your sisters? On second thought, perhaps it's for the better, I do not know. I pray forgive their overzealous nature. None save we free have been privileged to escort you and yours into the ruins and bear witness to its secrets. Their hearts now burn with a curiosity that is not easily satiated. Please, you needn't apologize. As a seeker of knowledge myself, I understand full well their enthusiasm. And if not for your sedulous efforts to protect the ruins, we would not be afforded this opportunity. Speaking of which, I believe I have kept you away from the ruins long enough. Come, let us make for the Katana Ravel. Well, off we go. Where was... Follow the flowers, right? There it is. It is most strange for these halls to be left unguarded. Have care when breaking the seal on the chamber door. Danger surely awaits us on the other side. Cutscene time. Come, our new discoveries are to be found this way. That's not the people of Ronka are known to have venerated animals, but these features do not match those of any indigenous species. This is no common beast. It's kind of ominous. Though that much is plain from its proportions. Lifelike, is it not? One could almost imagine it breathed. This owl, by contrast, seems no different from the others we've seen. Owls like that, they were often like keys before, weren't they? The sealed door lies ahead. Right. Well, I guess we'll have to investigate. Let's 
What's this pedestal? As you see, one statue is missing. I expect we are meant to replace it as before. Right. Well, at least they're consistent with their puzzles. Too simple. There will be some additional defense mechanism. Just a moment. There are words carved into the stone. Oh. He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber a hero? shall instead waken the beast and know his folly. That sounds... Wait! Don't! Uh... What? But I only... What is happening? Right. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It lives! <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Prepare yourselves. Should have seen this coming. What? Uh. Where? Teleportation magic. Everyone? Um. What? You trespass, mortal, upon sacred ground. In retribution, four souls have I bound. Yet the heroes proven, learned, and wise, a comrade's soul shall be their prize. If you would see their set free, answer me these riddles free. Riddles? Deft of paw, with kin do I vie, though sought apart. Betterment of the whole do our efforts descry. What am I? Death of paw with. Who sought apart betterment of the whole do our efforts descry? Death of Paw would be an awful awful. Right? Indeed, the awful awful is keen and shrewd. The spirit of ingenuity by whose guidance the Ronkins did prosperity pursue. The riddles answer that you did discern, and thus to you a soul returns. With fearsome fang I travel with pack. Together we find harmony, and thus for peace our land does not lack. What am I? That... has to be... The wolf, right? Indeed, t'was the spirit of the wolf their doctrines praised, that they would know peace and harmony to the end of their days. The riddle's answer you did discern. And thus to you, a soul returns. On my belly do I crawl. By my strength does prosperity reign within our hall. What am I? Well, that has to be... The serpent. On, crawling on its belly. Right? Indeed, the dread serpent turned protector. 
Learn to somber ere it tear the world asunder. The riddle's answer you did discern, and thus to you her soul returns. What about your stola? Desire you that which I yet claim, then we shall play another game. A test of mind and memory. Choose wisely, and you all may yet go free. Twixt these talismans hide friend and foe. Choose your companions well, or sorrow no. That's... Wait... That's... Yashtola... God. Your comrades are assembled together at last. Yet still there remains one trial you must pass. If you would glean the knowledge enshrined in this earth, I would first take the measure of your worth. I... well, I guess... One worthy of she who the Rongans extolled, must be strong of mind, body, and soul. Well, of course, it was never going to be as easy as that. Ready, everyone? Stole up. Okay, they do count as party members for healing. That's always nice. Victory oft begs sacrifice, but which of you would pay the price? Uh, what is this? Uh, thanks, everyone. My turn. Impressive. Careful. Should I be behind it? Oh, everyone else is stacking up behind the boss. You may think you have won, but we have only just begun. Animate. What's... These are the same creatures I saw in... The Emerald of the Tempest.
I wonder if there really is a connection here. Fought hero, the trial is complete. The way is open, and thus I concede defeat. Not wholly unexpected, but an exhausting ordeal nonetheless. Well, we won at least. As much as we could have done without that. Everyone back? It would seem the magics have returned us. How polite. Now, what have we learned? Ah, we were bound to run into a living statue eventually. And now we can open the door. Right. No second layer of traps. Uh, well, the door is open. He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber. What? This is. What is this? A tomb, just as I thought, befitting a hero. But who? She is Vis. Could that be the Archmage Tuna? Tuna? A legendary hero of Ronka, as you surmised. The tales tell of how she smote entire armies with a single incantation. So potent was her spellcraft. Though she ever fought in the name of peace. I thought them no more than tales. To think she really existed. Well, I for one always believed. Store? By the light of fallen stars, great power awakens. Tuna was not only a master of spellcraft. It is said she could see truths long lost and hear the voices of men's hearts. Wait a moment. That sounds like... Diego. Not less than the Echo. In which case, none of this is mere coincidence. What do you mean? A shower of stars setting the sky aflame. And in both this world and the Source, we find individuals within whom a mysterious power awakened at the sight. That's... That's right. It... It was ages ago, I'd kind of forgotten, but... Before... Just before all of this... Began... I did see something did like that. I pick the why of it. Now, however... I believe we might. Does the scene depicted here... Not resemble the one we saw when we first ventured into the Katana Ravel? Moreover, does it not recall that which Emmett Selk invited us to witness in Amarot? You mean... The final days?
Is that what I saw? The final days. If, as the Exarch's research suggests, soul and mind share a fragile yet profound bond, might it not be possible for an event to leave such a deep imprint upon the soul that it could be perceived eons later, given a suitable trigger? The echo defies explanation by conventional etherological theory, or shall we say modern etherological theory, but if it is a power that once belonged to the ancients, to souls yet undivided... You think it's... You sure? Ah. It would seem I have entered the realm of pure speculation, and I call myself a scholar. I shall refrain from making any further wild claims until such time as I have evidence. Right. Still, I cannot choose but be reminded of our experience in Amarot. I don't think it's something I'll ever forget myself. I made a promise after all. History is learned, not lived. We have always protected the tales of Ronka, just as we have protected this place. But we are mindful of what our mothers taught us. We see the past through our own eyes and speak of it with our own words. Thus do we come to understand it in our own way. But this is not the same as remembering. That's... Your mothers were wise. Though we witnessed the final days, our impressions could not fail to be colored by our own experiences and expectations. Those who lived through it would have perceived the event quite differently. That's... We must bear in mind that it is no simple matter to keep the truth alive, or it will die with Emmett Selk and his kin. Right. But we have disturbed you not long enough. Fana will serve similarly well as a venue for our contemplations. Of course. Is it enough to just remember? By your pensive expression, I take it I take it the tomb has given you much to think about. That is well. In time the knowledge you have gleaned will lead to understanding, and thus, ar thus arm you for what is to come. Before you leave, however, I would speak again of the teachings of our forebears, of histories learned, not lived. The legend of Tuna and her exploits has been told countless times over the centuries. Yet, as it is handed from one generation to the next, the story changes. With each telling of the tale there are new flourishes, details changed or lost. We can never truly know how she lived, for we were not there to see it. But we are here now to bear witness to your life. We have seen the change you have wrought, the echoes that will endure long after you are gone. And though it too will change in time, I swear to you, we shall do our best to preserve your story. I... Well... Thank you. I hope you'll forgive me if I don't make an oath of my own. But I think it goes without saying we can never misspeak of your heroism. Perish the thought. So long as we are here, there are none among the Vs who will not know of all you have done for Norfront. <sighs> We are not deserving of such reverence, but we are grateful all the same. You can be certain we will have our own tales to tell of the great guardians of Raktika and the ruins of Ronka. I pray you safe travels then, 
As ever, we shall await your return with open arms. Do we head back to tell the others? Although we learned naught of the Asians, the insight we gained into the Echo made our trip worthwhile. Before we return to the Crystarium, however, there is a small matter I would attend to in Sliverbow. Might I trouble you to come with me? Oh, not at all. Thank you. After we arrive, we should have a brief word with Runar. Bye, everyone. I suppose it'd be wrong of us to come out this way and not not stop by to say hello. Sleep kind of stuck. Oh. You napping at work there, Money. <laughs> I suppose that's a good sign that if it's a slow enough day. Oh, just 30 more minutes. Runar, it's been a while. Soren, so good to see you. You've arrived at a most opportune time. I was preparing a pot of my famous stew. I come, I'm already a place for you. I'm sorry, Runar, but we haven't... Uh... Please, I insist. It will take only a minute. Uh, I guess we're having stew? <sighs> my apologies, Soren. It seems our return to the Crystarium will be delayed. But perhaps only for a bit. If you assist me with my work. The stew we never got to try. I say work, but it is rather more a chore. I must clean my chambers here in Sliverbow from top to bottom. If you would be so kind as to go and fetch a broom from Asgare, we might finish before Runar is done cooking. Right, uh... Asgir? I'm looking for a broom for... Uh... Uh... It, uh Master Matoya. A broom for Master Matoya? I cannot imagine why she would have need of such a thing, but... Here you are. It is old but sturdy, and sure to suffice. Oh, uh, thank you. I think at the end of this quest... I might finish up the stream. I don't... How many... Hold up, let me look at the... So it started 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the sixth quest. debating that choice. I trust Ace was able to find a broom for us. Uh, yes, uh, is this one okay? Well worn. Good. This would prove difficult otherwise. But I must say, I think I did rather well for not having a broom thus far. You not had a broom at all? Yes, well, you weren't buried beneath a veritable avalanche of books when you entered, were you? Right. Anyway, it is time I finished cleaning with the help of that broom. Wait, is this...
The same as Master Matoya's magic? You didn't honestly think I'd do it the old fashioned way. That broom is more than capable of sweeping by itself. Or rather, it will be. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Time to rise, to swish and sweep, a tidy chamber you must keep. To this task you shall be bound, until no dust is to be found. Oh. Right. In this one particular respect. I have no objections to following in Master Matoya's footsteps. In future, I may need you to remind me that the pursuit of knowledge does not preclude other equally important duties, such as maintaining clean quarters for said pursuit. Runar Eator. I will dearly miss this place. These people. Oh. M uh, Master Matoya! Uh, pardon the interruption, but the stew is ready. Well, shall we? Everything... Okay? There's something troubling you. You've been rather quiet. No, no, no. Everything is fine, I assure you. It has been a long day is all. I see. Ishtola! Thank goodness you're still here. Alphano? Alize? Orianji? What? Alphano. I thought you were following Ardbert. I was. Though I'm sad to say I lost track of him shortly after entering these woods. He seems determined to traverse every elm of Norvrand in his quest to spread the truth about the Warriors of Light and the Flood. And it seems news of your address at the Crystarium proceeds him at every destination, making his task all the more simple. That's... It remains to be seen to what end he encourages the people to become Warriors of Light themselves. There is no denying that his words have struck a chord with many. Oh. Well, we're all agreed that this is just another Aussie employ, yes? They've commandeered corpses before and to no good end. I see no reason to think this time is any different, especially when it's that of a fallen warrior of light. I doubt we'll learn more if we remain a step behind. His next destination is, in all likelihood, Sliverbow. Excuse me? That scene showed the twins' hair is actually stuck. Is it? I think that's something that start. I don't think it... I think they did have the same hairstyle in A Realm Reborn. I do feel like kind of their style, like they're, I, I need to look back to see like when exactly they do diverge a bit more. 
but they do at some point seem to take efforts to kind of look a little more distinct. Alize, are you certain you should be here? If you're concerned about Halark and the others, you needn't be. Their treatment is going well, but progress is slow and exhausting for all of us. The best thing I can do now is let them rest. So, I believe we are about to discuss how to arrange a meeting with our would-be warrior of light. Before visiting any towns or villages, Artbert would hunt down and slay a nearby Sin Eater to earn the locals' trust. Our best chance of getting ahead of him is to find one before he does. Thankfully, Fancred and Rena returned from the empty and have taken up the search. Rena believe if one may lurk beneath the boughs of Woven Oath. Then that is where we will, we will start our search. Excuse me. Master Matoya. A, uh, a warm bowl of stew will be awaiting your return. I look forward to it. Yeah, they're both Arcanists in a realm reborn. Hang on. Alf no. Yeah, Alfno's still an Arcanist, isn't he? He doesn't he doesn't change until Endwalker. But Alize starts kind of sh Yeah, Alize changes about like halfway through the Heavensward patch quest, isn't it? He's a scholar. Uh, he's he, he's not a scholar. He's just a he's a he's a healing arcanist. He's still using Carbuncle. Isn't that just a skull? Or just the pets are different. Possibly, I think he do. I do think as well, though, his skill set does is still that of kind of an arcanist, just with some additional healing spells. I can sense no other sin eaters in the area. I hope this means Ardbert will be coming this way soon. So you seem to have already dealt with it. If you are hoping to vent your frustrations on our Eater friend here, I can only apologize. Few as they are now, it took us no time at all to track it down. Oh, the this <laughs> The scholar if you want to get in, if you want to get into the details, the scholar is related to Nimian magic. It requires use, like using a fairy. Carbuncle is still a arcane entity. That suits our purpose perfectly. Now we need only wait for Ardbert to arrive. Is he going to come Weren't after? Were you two meant to be attending to the empty? We were indeed, and we've made a certain amount of progress. So we thought we might see how the rest of the world was getting on. From what we can gather, the answer is strangely. Right now, we think we can do more good here. It is heartening to have all present. Indeed. We will be glad of the additional hands should matters escalate. Is Ardbert going to come after a... Our quarry is come. Oh, I... I guess so.
It seems I've lost this particular race. Well, though I suppose it's only fair. When we first met, it was I who outpaced you. Ravana, was it? You remember that? Don't try and act like you're him. But where are my manners? I wouldn't be here <coughs> were it not for you, and I have yet to say a word of thanks. I could <laughs> Academician. Academia? Demission? <laughs> of course he has his own fancy title. Arm giving you trouble? You should have it examined. Just needed to make sure. What do you want, Elidibus? Very well. Let us forego this pretense. You've never seen this scene? What? After all, it was never you that I needed to deceive. The owe you one with Seto option? Yes, it is I. Elizabeth. Through your time in Emmet Selk's imitation of our home, I dare say you have gained a better understanding of my role since last we met. Not that it matters. We understand your role, Emissary, but not your goal. What is it that you seek to achieve? I seek to enact the will of the Convocation, of course. If it helps you to think of me as but another Asian, no different in nature or purpose from the rest, you are welcome to do so. Once, I would have said your goal was destruction alone. Now I understand that you fight for something you love, just as we do. Yet though we seem doomed to clash, I bid you consider Emmett Selk's final words. Remember that we once lived, he said. Had he not seen some glimmer of hope in our kind, I do not believe he would have spoken thus. None better understood your plight than he. His words must surely be worthy of your consideration. Emmet Selk. How very unlike you to err so gravely. What? That one should stray at the end of so onerous a path is understandable. But I had thought you above such weakness. Mayhap you thought the same. Would that I had been present to offer correction. But I shall do so now, as is my duty, and return all to its proper course. As for you, look at yourselves. Look at your history. Look back one hundred short years to how your greatest warriors were undone. And now, at but a word from me, you raise your hands in answer like the puppets you are. Naught has changed. You fail and you fail and you learn nothing. Allow that which is most important to slip through your fumbling fingers like so many grains of sand, again and again and again, and you would remember us. 
You do forget yourselves. There is no common ground to be found between you and I, nor do I require any. I have my duty. Wait! I... Guess not. We don't like your kind of... <laughs> well... We have confirmed the identity of our foe, at least. And tis safe to say his objective is the rejoining. But we still have no idea how playing the part of a warrior of light will further his cause, nor why he would spur others to do the same. Another visit to the Tempest may shed some light upon these mysteries. You sure? Whether we are to exchange words or blows with Elidibus at our next meeting, the fact remains, we know too little. Ere our paths cross again, I would learn more of the world that once was, and of Elidibus himself. Right. In this, we would be best served going directly to his home, much as Emmett Selk came to ours. This dedicated villains act, heroes react. Yeah. Though I see the wisdom in thy suggestion, the Amorot we visited is but a phantom born of Emmet Selk's memory. I fear it will teach us little that we do not already know. I quite agree. Yet the ruins of the actual city remain unexplored. Given the vastness of the Tempest, I should not be surprised were there more such structures like to those in which the Ondo reside. Right. The real Amorot. I kind of want to go with this response just because I know the... <laughs> just for the... F for the meme, but... No. Is there anything more we can find out? I want to find it out too. A man after my own heart. Assuming we are all Pick every chance to that. Of, co of course you did, Minnie. Really. If anyone can tell us where more ruins are to be found, it is them. I think I'm going to finish up there for then you got the glare and I'll, I'll, I'll look as it. <laughs> yep. I can imagine you did. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to finish up there for tonight. Because I'm... I don't feel tired, but I feel... <laughs> I think I'm starting to consciously notice that I'm acting tired. Sorry, would Sasser really play? <laughs> so, no, no, nah, yeah, I, I can, I can see Sari sassy people. Guess that was definitely bad timing. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I'm noticing. It's one of those weird things, like, I, I don't feel tired, but I... I'm logically noticing that I'm tired. So I hope to finish this up. Tired, I see. I think I'm tired. I don't feel tired, but I think... I, I think I am. I feel my brain's not... Pr I'm noticing my brain doesn't seem to be able to... Process, like, process a response to dialogue quickly enough to be... Streaming. So I might go and I might go and have a have a wee nap. Yeah, solo two hours. So yeah, next stream. Yes, yeah, so that means tomorrow's stream is not going to be five point three like I'd originally planned. But I'll be finishing off five point two, and I'll 
I think I can get the next set of... I am... Hold up. Where's my... Reputation. Yes, I am... That... I am that close to being able to do the next set of Beast Tribe quests for Realm, Realm Reborn. So that might, like, kind of add up the extra time. I still feel it might be a bit shorter. <laughs> I have absorbed your sleepiness. But yeah. So it might... I feel it might still be a bit of a shorter stream, because I think we've only got, like, two quests left in the patch. That does include a dungeon, which is, like, half an hour of content anyway. So it just might be a bit shorter tomorrow. But with all that said, uh, next week's stream, I think, Dungeon and a Trial. Mm, I don't think there's a trial in 5.2. I think the trial you're thinking of is in 5.3. Yeah. Yeah, the trial the trial's not till won't be until the following stream, which I might have to make I might have to make sure that's a day I can af I can stay up late because that is going to be a that's going to be quite a long one because I know a lot happens with that. But yeah, next week we'll be back for some more Persona Free Reload, which I am getting. I was finding myself lo I was finding myself yesterday with Persona 3 Reload. I wanted to just keep going. I'm a, I'm a, I'm getting that to that stage of investment in Persona 3 where I want. <laughs> I'm struggling to limit myself to streamed to playing on stream time. But I feel we're more than halfway through the game now, because from what I'm. At least Persona 4 and Persona 5, both before, like, the extend the extended versions. You felt that last night, people? Yeah. The Persona games can get quite... Just one more day. So, yeah. Uh, next week, we'll just be carrying on Persona 3 Reload and Final Fantasy XIV. Our schedule will be up as usual on YouTube, probably Monday. Let me do this one last thing and then I'll save. Yep. <laughs> Very easy to do in Persona games. But yeah, uh... Quick note that... Next week... Uh, at some point... I think it's, def I think it's on the 31st. Uh... I'm going into British summertime, so my streams will be going forward an hour again. For anyone not on British summertime. I think it's the 31st, Wednesday. I'll, I'll actually check that now. Hold up. Where is it? When does BST start? Yes. Okay, yeah. Sun Sunday the 31st. Yep, Daylight Savings starts on Sunday. But yeah, next week I'll be back to British Summertime, so... Jumping forward an hour. But... For now, I'm going to be saying goodbye. I'll be back tomorrow with more Final Fantasy, and hopefully I'll be better slept. I might not be, I might be. <laughs> Well, we'll see what happens. But if you enjoyed and you want to see more, you can always follow me on Twitch. You could subscribe on YouTube where all my schedules go up. But regardless of what you do, thank you so much for coming along. I really hope you enjoyed. And until the next time I see you, have a good evening, have a good night, and goodbye. <laughs>